Well, hello again, fight fans, and welcome to another edition of the Speed Bag. Today, a little segment I like to call, this, this right here is a dilemma. So according to UFC President Dana White, plans for the light heavyweight title are set between two options. If John Jones wants an immediate shot to regain his title upon his return from suspension, he can fight Daniel Cormier at UFC 214 on July 29th. If, however, Jones would prefer a tune-up fight first, then Cormier will fight Jimmy Manoa at some point in July. Basically, it's all up to Jones. You know, what does he want to do? Does he want to fight the big fight first or the little fight first? You know, does he want to cannonball right back into the deep end of the pool? Or does he want to ease down the steps like an old woman heading to her 6 a.m. water aerobics class? It might be an easier question if we hadn't just seen what John Jones looks like without a tune-up. I mean, remember his return from his little post-hit-and-run hiatus when he fought over in St. Prue? I mean, he won that fight and won you know, pretty easily, but let's be honest, it was not the best John Jones we've ever seen. You know, maybe the best Daniel Cormier actually beats that John Jones. Maybe a little tuning up wouldn't be such a bad idea. But then if he does decide to do a tune-up, who does he even fight? I mean, look at the light heavyweight division right now. Who is there? I mean, not Manoa. Manoa will be fighting Cormier. Who, uh, Alexander Gustafson? Man, Gustafson gave him all he could handle in the first fight. He'd need a tune-up for the tune-up. Can't be Anthony Johnson, he just retired. Ryan Bader's in Bellator. Glover Teixeira's fighting Gustafsson. You know, Vulcan Olsdemir's fighting Misha Sirkinov. The whole top 10 basically is either gone one way or another or booked. So if you have to go too far down the rankings, then it starts to look less like a tune-up and more like an execution. Or worse, you go too far down the rankings and then you merely just beat them. You don't completely decapitate them. Then you're somehow coming out looking bad even when you win. Of course, that still might be better than stepping in against your hated rival when you know, he's at the top of his game, you're still searching for yours. Although, if you're thinking financially, you're going to make less money to tune up than you would to show out. Honestly, I can't really say what John Jones should do here. It's a tough situation either way. Although, one thing I do know, considering Jones' track record, no matter what he says he's decided to do, if you're Jimmy Manoa, maybe stay ready just in case.